welcome. My name is Trisha Miller. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and stick around because today is cleaning day. This will be a great video for you to put on in the background, clean along with me. It's gonna be fun, fast paced. I'll get some good music going for us. Before I can do all of that, I need my iced coffee. I did find a creamer for those of you who have been following. I found a creamer that I really, really like. So it's the Coffee Mate Zero Sugar Chocolate Caramel. I'll show that to you guys really quick. It's really, really good. It's just as good as the Chobani Mint Chocolate, Mint Mocha. That doesn't sound right. It was a mint mocha flavor. It was around the holiday season and I had a really hard time not having it anymore in my life, but this is awesome. So we're gonna make this, grab all my cleaning stuff. I have a new, couple new products I'm gonna try out today. Here, I have one right next to me, I'll show it to you. It's the Scrub Daddy Power Paste. I get way more excited about cleaning products than I probably should, but I'm excited to try it. My good friend Rhea Peterson told me about that one. She has her own YouTube channel, you should check her out. I'll link her in the video description box. But for now, Let's take a big sip and get started. I also wanna remind everybody that I have my giveaway going on right now. I am giving away $100 cash to just say thank you to all of my amazing subscribers. My one year YouTube anniversary is coming up on February 3rd. So all you have to do to enter is to make sure you're subscribed to my channel, watch all my videos in January, and just leave a comment on the videos. That's it, so good luck, I hope you guys win. And the first thing we're gonna do is strip Steven and I's bed. I wanna get all of our linens washed and I'm hoping to get that done today so then we can remake the bed later on. I also want to organize, kind of declutter and organize our laundry room. It has gotten very chaotic in there. I leave the TV on, I'm done with your sad eyes. I can take another night with you on like this, so let's go. Unfortunately, I forgot that I needed to run the 30 minute quick dry on those rugs. Our dryer, you have to run, if it's like a big blanket or a rug, you have to run it through the full cycle and then do the quick dry for 30 minutes and then it should be good, so we just gotta stick those back in. Sorry, this is gonna be loud with the dryer going, but I just wanna show you what has become of our laundry room. Because I am going to go ahead and just get this organized really quickly while we wait for those rugs to be done. Our laundry room can become a catch-all area pretty quickly, and I only have myself to blame for that because it's usually me that's throwing random stuff in there. Um, but I do have a system I wanna show you guys. So those gold bins that I'm folding uniforms and putting in has been a really good way for us to avoid the Saturday morning sports chaos of searching for uniforms. So I have a basket for each of my kids for their uniforms. And so we have our games on Saturdays and Sundays. Sunday night laundry routine is to always get those uniforms washed first. And then I immediately take them from the dryer and put them in the baskets. It's really nice because then whoever is getting the kids ready for the games, whether it's me or my mom or Steven or the kids on their own, they know exactly where to go for their uniforms. And so that system has worked really, really well. So I just wanted to share that. As I was getting all the uniforms ready, I remembered that I had Rory's gymnastics outfit for Saturday drying in her room. So I wanted to go grab that, add that to the bin so it's ready to go. And then I'm just laying out all my cleaning products that I need to use today so that they're ready for me to grab when I need them.
Okay, I need to know from everybody what show are you currently watching because I need a new show. I, I'm trying to prioritize rest in 2024, but part of what allows me to rest is if I like have a good show that I'm looking forward to watching, and then I'll take a break and watch an episode. So please help your girl out. Tell me what you guys are watching right now in the comments. It also helps motivate me to work out because if I'm just doing like a light strength day, it'll motivate me to go to the basement, put on a good show, do my workout while I'm watching my show. So all good things. I need these show recommendations. Please help in the comments. Were you yelling at me to remind me that I needed to grab these last two pillowcases? If so, thank you. I heard you. Okay, we're now in Steven and I's bathroom. This place needs a lot of help. It truly is our whole family's bathroom. Our kids always prefer to take their showers and their baths in here. And Liam uses Steven's sink to brush his teeth twice a day. He just prefers our bathroom. Are your kids like that? They just wanna be in your bathroom versus their own. So it gets a little messy. And now it does make it easier because their bathrooms don't get as messy. So I'll take it. sinks for a minute. Let me try to zoom in. Does your sinks, do your sinks, around the ring get like that gross orangey pink? It looks orange right now, but it's actually pink in real life. Do you get that? It's so gross. But you know what? Not today, pink ring. I'm about to handle you. New product review, since I have this is the first time I'm using the Scrub Daddy Power Paste. I really like it. I had to change my expectations though because I'm used to my Dawn Power Wash where it's very foamy and I can see the soap. With the Power Paste, you can't necessarily see the soap unless you put a ton on there, but it cleans really well and it had a really nice lighter scent to it, which is good. I get a little bit overwhelmed when there's like a strong odor on my cleaning products. 
And so that's actually the Dawn Power Wash that I was cleaning the drain with. That's why it was so foamy. But the Power Paste is gonna leave a little bit of a film if you don't wipe it afterwards. So just keep that in mind. I'm using it on my counter and then I'm gonna take a, mic a wet microfiber cloth and go over it one more time just to make sure I remove all of the residue and then I'll dry it. So just keep that in mind. But overall, I really like it and it's a natural cleanser. And so win-win, yay for a new cleaning product. Will you run away? Will you run away with me? Cause I will run away. Thankfully, the only thing I have to clean in the shower today is the door, and it's a simple process for me that works really well. I just rinse the door off, I take Dawn Power Wash, put some on the door, I take a sponge, scrub the Power Wash into the door, then rinse the door off again, and then the most important step is to make sure I use the squeegee and get all that extra soap suds and water off of the door. I've also noticed a big piece of advice I can give if you have glass shower doors like this is to try to do the squeegee after every shower that you do. It takes two seconds. I even sometimes, I'll have Rory come in and she'll do the squeegee because she loves that part. That's our five-year-old daughter for anybody who's new here. Oh my gosh, she's not five, she's six. Sorry, she turned six in December. Oh, why do they get big so quickly? Anyway, so it's a fun activity for your kids to do too if you don't feel like doing it, but I've noticed that it makes a really big difference in how, like how long we can go before I have to re-clean the shower. some trouble spots in our bathtub so this little drain spout right here you'll see it gets like that line of gunk and it's gonna be hard for it to focus on camera but in this drain hole it gets really really gross so I have a tool that we're gonna use for that and then for my self-care lately I've been using these bath pebbles that I love they have essential oils but you can see kind of all the gunk that it is like accumulating on our bathtub because they're oils so we are going to take that on today. The drain isn't too bad. It gets a little yucky, so I'll use my scrub brush on that. Yeah, I can see it has like kind of a yucky ring to it. So we'll get that, and we will take care of this tub. I kiss you before the sun goes down. 
Do you like to tie your hair back when you clean? I also kind of have this weird quirk where I'll tie my hair back before I eat. Only for like like a sit down thing, like if I'm gonna have lunch or if I'm gonna have dinner, I always tie my hair back. Does anybody else do that out there? Uh, so I am using my big scrub brush for the bathtub just to make it easier. It got rid of the oil residue so quickly and our tub looks so good. It's so nice taking a bath later on that night and just having it nice and clean. Even the kids noticed how clean the bathtub was, which you know is a big deal. I wanna kiss you before the sun goes down. I never meant for this to turn into a deep cleaning session, but when I was scrubbing the bathtub, I noticed the sealant underneath our tub was turning yellow and just getting really grimy. So I had to take care of that. I've, another thing that I'm doing in 2024 is if I notice something that needs to get done, I'm trying so hard to just make a conscious effort to do it because I'm the type of person where if I saw that, I would typically say, oh, I gotta remember to clean that soon. And then every time I would go in my bathroom, I would notice it and say that same thing to myself. And then it's like it's taking up space in my brain and it's weighing on me. And so I just wanna get those things done when I notice them so then I can just move on. Nowhere. They keep saying I'll be fine, but how you know that I'll be there? When it feels like I'm lying every time, someone asks how it goes, and I save the details that actually mean something. Mm -hmm. Another huge focus in 2024 for me is to declutter our entire house. I will link my declutter series if you haven't started watching that. We've already done two different spaces in the home and I'm thinking of that because I just put the duvet cover in the dryer and I immediately donated that thing when it came out of the dryer because it does not bring me joy. I hate doing the buttons. It's just never fun. I never look forward to it. So goodbye duvet cover. And now I'm just filling an empty Mrs. Myers bottle with my favorite cleaner for the floor in the bathroom around the toilet. It's the Dr. Bronner's 18-in-1 Hemp Peppermint Pure Castile soap that is a long title but it's amazing you can use it for so many different things the bottle even says people can use it just on their bodies as actual soap but I do a diluted version because it gets rid of the smell of pee and I am labeling it just as it is and no more pee if anybody with little boys in their home this stuff is the best it's the only thing that I've found where I can just put it on the floor and scrub and I no longer smell anything I hope you know what I'm talking about 
but it's just, it's something about going into a bathroom and you just smell it. You can look around, your bathroom can look perfectly spotless, but you just smell that pee smell. Does anybody relate to that? So this stuff is the only thing that will neutralize that odor and get rid of it, in my opinion. It works amazing. And so I just do a couple capfuls in a bottle, I dilute it with water, and then I just spray it on the ground and wipe it. It works so well. I never got it, why'd you have to go? I guess this world's too slow for you. I think there's beauty in the gray, the cold, but you just want the gold. And there's no way I can beat it, cause I got no chance, no chance when it comes to her. She got the glitter and the fame, and I, I just wasn't enough for you. Getting back to Steven and I's room, I really wanted to clean and declutter our nightstands. I have a ton of pictures that Rory draws me at night. This is her way of procrastinating going to sleep. She'll draw me a sweet picture and bring it to me sometimes three or four times a night. And it's hard to get upset when she draws you these beautiful rainbows and tells you that she loves you. But oh my gosh, that girl has mastered the art of manipulation when it comes to bedtime. So I'm trying to declutter some of those pictures. Steven has some on his side of the bed as well because if it's not me, it's Steven that she's doing it to. And so I just wanna get everything dusted. Our lights get so dusty on the lampshades. And so I, it needed a really good wiping on that. And if you're wondering what the shapes are, those are snowflakes. I did that back around the holidays. I like to do cutouts of different shapes depending on what season or holiday we're in and I'll put them under the lampshades. My favorite is in the fall when I do leaves. I just think it looks so beautiful when you turn the lamp on. All right, anyway, we're back on Steven's side now. He doesn't quite have as many pictures as me, which tells me I'm more of a soft target for our kids. And then we're gonna get that cleaned up, get the linens back on the bed, and just get our room back into a better place. You only want what you can afford. I don't I make you feel something? Or maybe you can't feel anything. She's not gonna give you everything. I Anybody new here, that sweet little dog is our Annie. She is a frequent visitor on my cleaning episodes. She just is my shadow. She's with me all day, every day. She definitely gets in the way sometimes when we're trying to do things. But for anybody who's been watching, you are well aware of Annie and she was not having it today. I was doing everything to convince her to get off of the bed. I was so excited she finally got off. But wait for it, she does not wait long and then she quickly gets right back on, there you go. So we just, we try to clean around her. It's always an adventure with our Annie. We love her so much. She adds a lot of joy to our lives, a little bit of stress, but it's worth it. We are who we are. Why don't I be me and you be you? We're spreading color. to express yourself in your own way. <laughs> 
let's check in. I had wanted to do the Tinico on the floor and get the floor nice and cleaned and mopped today. But you know what? We have been cleaning for lots of hours at this point and part of my goal for a positive change in the new year is to focus on rest more. So I feel good about everything we've done. It's okay that I didn't do everything that was on my to-do list and I think we are going to put on The Bachelor because I have committed to watching this new season of The Bachelor. I used to watch all the seasons and I loved it but I haven't been as into it lately. But I want to now. I'm ready to go back to The Bachelor. So we're gonna watch the new, they just premiered at the new episode, so if you wanna start watching it with me, let's talk about it in the comments. And he's excited to watch it as well. Actually, she's barking at the construction people behind our house. Happens all the time. It's really fun. So I'm gonna get my iced coffee, coffee number two of the day if you're counting. I never count. And then I also wanna treat myself to a little bit of chocolate. So I got these for the teachers for Valentine's Day. They don't mind if I just have one. It's a strawberries and cream or dark strawberry flavor. Which one should we have? We're working on moderation with my sweets. I'm working on it. I think we're gonna go strawberries and cream. So let's get this, go have a little treat, watch The Bachelor, fold some laundry while we watch it so it's still somewhat productive, and just rest. I have to get the kids at the bus stop in about two hours, so I'm gonna take some time for myself. I don't know if I can make it when I walk alone Uh-oh Can somebody come and save me? I just want to know I want to know Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you're able to clean along with me or at least get that motivation to get your stuff done later. Don't forget about my giveaway. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Leave a comment on this video. I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm not gonna lose myself.